very good afternoon to all today myself dr ritu malhotra associate professor and program in charge of department of applied sciences i will discuss briefly about you partial differential equation i will introduce that what do we mean by partial differential equation what is the need of partial differential equations and some important definitions now we will start with the pde now the outline of today lecture that is introduction mathematical definition followed by order of pde then degree of pde then formation of pde that how we can formulate partial differential equation i repeat in today's lecture i will discuss something which is new for you that is the introduction of pd pde then what is the mathematical definition of pde partial differential equation what is the order of pde and what do you mean by degree of pde pde stands for partial differential equation then how we can formulate pde means partial differential equation now firstly i will introduce you about the differential equation now differential equations these are the most beautiful equations in mathematics they are core topics in multi variable calculus they are used to model many systems in various field of science and engineering about differential equation you all know that in it involve the derivatives of a function or a set of functions the laws of natural and physical world are usually written and modeled in the form of differential equations these equations it may be ordinary as well as partial differential equation arise in the study of rate of change of quantities or things now rate of change in nature way everything is depend upon rate of change they play a significant role in science applied mathematics physical engineering physics chemical engineering computer science and biology persons for civil engineering for electrical electronic engineering nearly every real world system it is a system under change and differential equation plays an important role in the mathematics differential equation it is the mathematics of change now it is invented by isaac newton and godfried william leibniz these are the pictures of isaac newton and godfried william leibniz differential equations were no doubt separately invented by isaac newton which was the english mathematician physics astronomer and author described in his own day as natural philosopher and on the other side godfried william leibniz which was a german mathematician and philosopher as well now until this date this depend on who was the first one to invent it was argued by both isaac and godfried until their death but no decision was taken that who first invent differential equations then it will be followed by bernoulli brothers then newton and many more scientists work on differential equations now let me go through the first slide here equation is used and where computer engineering students electrical engineering students they use partial differential equations means pde 
laplace equation it is used to describe the steady state distribution of heat in a body or you can say if you want to find out the steady state distribution of electrical charge in a body then pd is very helpful next application that is in heat equation heat equation here heat equation u u denote it is used to represent the temperature at time t in a physical body at a point with coordinates x y z means if you want to find out the temperature at any point if i know the temperature in a room i can know in first bench second bench third temperature you you all know that temperature changes at every point and if you want to find out at any point if you know the temperature at single point or initial points then you will be able to find out at any point with the help of partial differential equation next application is wave equation here you will be able to represent the displacement at any time t if you know the value of body or you can say position at any point or you can say at initial point or you are you have the value at boundary points then you will be able to calculate the displacement at uh, displacement at any time t of a particle which is which uh, which has position at rest let it be x y z now there are many applications of pd in robotic industrialization here automotion and robotic technologies for customized component and model and building bear modulation is done by pd you just made the uh, modeling and prefabrications are based on the differential equations next example is in games app development in game theoretical modeling building block concept and many applications they are solved only with the help of differential equations the graphical interface of analyzing data and creating browser based on pde solving with finite element method there are many methods finite element method that is discussed in the numerical methods there is crank nicolson method crank nicolson method these all are methods they are based on pde means partial differential equations now firstly i briefly tell you what do we mean by ordinary differential equation we have previously in previous lecture all the teacher i have already discussed you what do we mean by ordinary differential equation i am just blushing up this one an equation which contain ordinary derivatives of one or more dependent variables of a single independent variable is called ode means ordinary differential equation i repeat an equation which contain ordinary derivatives of one or more dependent variables of a single independent variable for example ordinary derivative means d by dx i am talking about by d by dx here dy by dx here y is dependent variable x is independent variable y depend upon x now dy by dx plus 5y equal to e raised to power x in this differential equation y depend upon x only now here one is independent variable that is x and one is dependent variable here this is the second example here dx by dt plus dy by dt is equal to 2x plus y here x depend upon t y depend upon t means x and y both are dependent variables and independent variable is only t it means this is an equation which contain ordinary derivatives having two dependent variables and single independent variable that is t so these are all about ode means ordinary differential equation which we all uh, which we already cover in the previous lecture taken in the class now before starting partial differential equations you must know the meaning of partial derivative when you have any function that depend upon several variables you can differentiate with respect to either variable 
what uh, what i want to say if you have any function let x y z t any function we can differentiate with respect to a single variable while keeping other variables as constant for example if i have z it is a function of x and y means z depend upon x and y x and y will be independent variables now i can differentiate z with respect to x as well with respect to y as well if i differentiating z with respect to x then it will be denoted by curl z by curl x in od it is denoted by d by dx here it is denoted by curl z by curl x now i can differentiate with respect to y as well by keeping x constant then it will be curl z by curl y here we are differentiating z with respect to y keeping x as constant i repeat again if z is any function of x and y then we can differentiate z with respect to x as well as with respect to y keeping other constant as constant now what do you mean by partial differential equations denoted by pd stand for partial differential equations now an equation which contains partial derivatives of one or more dependent variables of two or more independent variables what i want to say here it contains partial derivatives now curl by curl x whenever we are talking about curl it means we are talking about partial derivative here in this example curl square u upon curl x square plus curl square u upon curl t square equals to 2 times curl u by curl t in this equation u depend upon x and t it means u is a function of x and t how many dependent variable is there here one is dependent variable that is u u is dependent variable x and t are independent variables here only one dependent variable two are independent variable in this example as well we have curl u by curl y equals to minus curl b by curl x in this equation as well we have x and y these are independent variables u and v are dependent variables means we we have two dependent variables u and v and two independent variable x and y so this is accordance with the definition of pd pd means an equation which contains partial derivatives of one or more dependent variables one or more dependent variables of two or more independent variables i think now the definition is clear to all what do you mean by pd any equation containing partial derivatives of one or more dependent variables of two or more independent variables now before going to the next slide i just want to tell you that differential equation this pd plays an important role i'm just giving one example more that suppose if you want to deal with the temperature vary with the time as temperature can be function of time latitude longitude altitude if i want to differentiate temperature with respect to time then i will keep latitude longitude at altitude all these things constant we can differentiate temperature with respect to latitude as well by keeping other terms as constant so we can differentiate with respect to one a variable keeping other variable as constant other examples of pd may be these are used in evaluation of gases in fluid dynamics in formation of galaxies describing the nature of quantum mechanics as i have already told you it is used to find out laplace equation heat equation wave equation these are also referred as equation of mathematical physics because pds are coming from all these branches econ economics computer science chemical kinetics quantum chemistry computer engineering electrical engineering mechatronics in each and every branch pd is used now i'm just giving the examples if z is a function of x and y then x curl z by curl x plus y 
curl z by curl y equal to z it is a pd here it contains partial derivatives curl by curl x curl by curl y with respect to z so this is partial differential equation this is another example curl z by curl y plus c time curl z by curl x equals to 0 it is again partial differential equation this is also called transport equation in transport equation z is a function of x and y this is another example of pd it is curl square z upon curl x square plus curl square z upon curl y square equal to 0 this is again a partial differential equation this is also called laplace equation we will discuss again 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 and we will solve even these equations now students please you just uh, you just understand the ideas i will give you ppt as well i will forward you ppt you just want to uh, you just uh, you just need to remember all these formulas and please understand the concepts because everything is provided on the books as well on the net as well and i will provide you notes as well the most important thing is you must understand the concept i deliver thank you and the next now whenever we talk about pde we should talk about two things that is one is order and another is degree first i will explain order then what do you mean by order of pde in previous lectures we have already done order of ode and order of uh, order of ODE here order of PDE kya hai? it is the order of the highest order derivative in any equation means highest order derivative it is same definition as we have done in ODE in ordinary differential equation this is the same definition order of PDE is this is the order of highest order derivative in any equation highest order derivative means i'm just taking an example here y curl y by curl x equals to x curl y by curl t whole square plus c this is a let this is any equation now here we have differentiating y with respect to x with respect to t in this equation y is a function of x y depend upon x now this is pd because it contains partial derivatives now what is the order of this equation here order is yes how many derivatives we should calculate to write this equation only one derivative it may be with respect to x it may be with respect to t means for writing this equation we we just need first order derivative so the order is one in this equation highest order derivative is one so the order of differential equation is one now i'm taking another example that is curl square y upon curl x here plus three time curl y by curl x plus curl y by curl t equals to five here y depend upon x and t or you can say y is a function of x and t this is partial differential equation why it is partial differential equation because it contains partial derivatives of dependent variable with respect to independent variable now what is the order of this differential equation it is again 2 because the highest order derivative is 2 i think it is clear to all that what do you mean by order of partial differential equation it is the order of highest order derivative in equation students please uh, understand these concept because this will help to do uh, when whenever you have some mcq because in the examination you will deal with the mcq question as well so these type of questions will be in the examinations that what is the order of pd what is the degree of pd so please understand these concepts now next definition is degree of pd now degree of pd is it is same as we have already done in ODE. That is the power of highest order derivative in the given equation. Provided the equation has been made free of radical signs and fractional parts as far as the derivatives are concerned. I repeat, degree of PDE, it is the power of, main thing kya hai? Power of 
highest order derivative in the given equation it may be it should be radical and fractional term free now i'm just giving you an example here y curl y by curl x plus uh, is equal to x time curl y by curl t square plus c now this is a pde as it contains partial derivatives what is the order of this differential equations yes i think every everyone can answer now order is highest partial derivative what is the highest order partial derivative here it is 1 so order is 1 now what is the degree of this pde degree means degree means power of highest order derivative power highest order derivative is 1 here this is also curl y by curl x curl y by curl t but highest power kya hai yahan pe 1 hai here it is 2 so the degree will be 2 i am taking another example as well it is curl square y upon curl t square raised to power 3 plus 3 time curl y by curl x plus 5y equals to 3 now in this example highest derivative is 2 because here two second order derivative this is called second order derivative here the power is 2 so order is 2 now what is the degree of pde here the power of highest power order derivative that is 3 so the degree will be 3 next i am taking another example that find the order and degree of this pd this is 1 plus curl y by curl x it's a whole square raised to power 3 by 2 equals to k square curl cube y upon curl t cube it's a whole square now this is pd as it contains partial derivatives now before finding the degree order is clear here what is the order means how many derivatives are required to write this equation it is 3 highest order derivative is 3 so order is 3 but before defining the degree the according to definition that it should be there should not be any fractional term or you can say it should be radical and fractional term free so we just squaring both sides here the equation will become 1 plus curl y by curl x whole square raised to power 3 and now what it will be it will be k raised to power 4 here the power will also increase to 4 now what is the degree here now highest order derivative it will always remain same that is order is 3 and what is the degree degree is the highest uh, degree is the power of highest order derivative here it is 4 so the degree will is equal to Four degrees four. Next definition. Here there are some uh, standard notations which I used and even some books used. Here, if z is a function of x and y, these are the standard notation. So the, everyone can use these notations. Here z z if it is not given even the question that z is a function of x and x and y, then automatically you should understand that if there are three variables x y z then z will always be a function of x and y now i can differentiate with respect to x we can i can differentiate with respect to y as well now in curl z by curl x is equal to p if there is curl z by if i differentiating z with respect to x it will be denoted by p if i differentiating with respect to y it is denoted by q and if i differentiate with respect to x two times if i differentiating with respect to x two times it will be r here curl square z upon curl x square here i am differentiating z two times or you can say i am differentiating p with respect to x that is denoted by r if i differentiating z with respect to x and y it is s if i am differentiating z with respect to y two times it is denoted by t and in some books it is written as it is zx z with the subscript x z with the subscript y it is zy z with respect to x and y this is zyx here it should be square curl square z upon curl x square zx x means we are differentiating two times with respect to z here curl square z upon curl y square i am differentiating two times with respect to z so these are some standard notations we you should remember it that what is p what is q what is r what is s what is t now about s 
we can differentiate with respect to y as well as with respect to x sometimes some student asked that can we differentiate with respect to x first then y yes you can because you are dealing with the continuous variables continuous functions here you can differentiate with respect to x first or y or you can have y or x for you people it will be same but in many books matlab in the higher classes you have some lemma according to which it, it is not necessary condition these are equal but what you want to learn you have to learn in that concept both are equal so as you can differentiate that with respect to x and y or you can firstly differentiate with respect to y then x it is same now here one is the mcq i just write here multiple choice question it will help to understand the concept and you the question is the differential equation it is fx y curly raised to power k y upon curl x raised to power k raised to power r plus psi is another function of x and y here curl k minus 1 y curl x raised to power k minus 1 raised to power s and any equation containing lower derivatives equal to 0 now what is the degree of this equation now here in mcq degree degree means firstly you should find highest order derivative what is the highest order derivative it is understood here it is k it means what is the order of this differential equation it is k and what is the degree of this differential equation degree means it is the power of highest derivative so this is r it means answer will be r here we will take the first option now i repeat here highest order derivative is k and power of this highest derivative is r so degree is r next this is another mcq for you people the differential equation this it is function of xy curl y by curl x curl square y upon curl x square equal to 0 now uh, please tell me that what is the order of this differential equation to write this equation how many highest order derivatives are required it is a function of two derivatives it means it is of second order it means answer will be c we will click on c i repeat here it is a function of x y first derivative second derivative means highest order derivative is 2 so the answer will be 2 uh, means second order means c option will be correct option now i will when i forward you this pd uh, this ppt you can solve these equations these are also mcqs based questions that what do you mean by order and degree of pd what is the degree here you can solve yourself these are three mcq here options can be 1 2 3 4 i think you can write down what is the order and degree of pd if you will have any doubt i will discuss tomorrow at last 10 minutes i will give you for any type of discussion for any type of doubts even i will give you my email id if you have any query you can mail me and you can have uh, you can solve your any doubt thank you next mcq here in partial differential equation p is equal to curl z by curl x and q is equal to curl z by curl y it is a standard notation i have already discussed that with respect to x when we are differentiating it is denoted by p when i differentiate with respect to y it will be denoted by q then han ji what do you, what is the definition of r and s i think it is clearly understood r is curl square z upon curl x square when i differentiate z with respect to x two times then it will be r in rest of the options these are y square y square here x and y so no need to check even s here our first option will be the correct option next year, i have discussed you what do you mean by pd what is the order of pd what do you mean by degree of pd i think it is clear to all now my next topic is formation of pd means how you can formulate partial differential equation now there are two methods to solve any pd first method is with the help of arbitrary constant means if i eliminate the arbitrary constant from the differential equation we will form pd and second method that is by the elimination of arbitrary functions 
so there are two methods one is elimination of arbitrary constant and other is elimination of arbitrary functions yes firstly we will deal how we can form partial differential equation by eliminating the arbitrary constant now first question is uh, eliminate the arbitrary constant from z is equal to ax plus by plus ab this is the differential uh, this is the equation given to you it is z z is the function of x and y and a and b are arbitrary constants now solution is now given equation jo bhi given hai that is here z equal to ax plus by plus ab it is given to you here a and b are arbitrary constant i can differentiate it with respect to x i can differentiate with respect to y as well now what is the derivative with respect to x now i think everyone knows z it derivative of z will be the coefficient of x here it is a so curl z by curl x will be equals to a when i differentiate with respect to x curl z by curl x it will be a when i differentiate with respect to y curl z by curl y that will be equals to b coefficient of y now according to the standard notation i can write curl z by curl x equals to p here p will be equals to a and curl z by curl y equals to b means q will be equals to b i repeat z is equal to ax plus by plus ab now you firstly differentiate with respect to x here curl z by curl x that is equal to a according to standard notation i get p equals to a now i can differentiate with respect to y as well here it will be curl z by curl y equals to b means q will be equal to b i have the value of a and b i just want to eliminate here a and b so i just put the values here i substitute the values of a and b in equation 1 that is z will be equals to px plus qy plus pq which will be the required differential equation here z will be equal to px plus qy uh, qy plus pq uh, i think it is clear to you how we can eliminate arbitrary constant i have another example as well yes now form the pd means partial differential equation by eliminating the arbitrary constant i have taken two parts here first is z equal to x square plus a into y square plus b and in second part 2z equal to x square upon a square plus y square upon b square i will solve the first part i think you can solve second yourself now about first part here z is a function of x and y and here a and b are arbitrary constant now i will differentiate with respect to x first now what will be the derivative here when i differentiate with respect to x some of the student using product rule but it is pd partial differential equation so please remember whenever you are differentiate with respect to x here y will be treating as constant no product rule will be here so curl z by curl x it will be 2x into y square plus b here i have written z uh, when i differentiate with respect to x it will be curl z by curl x that will be equal to 2x into y square plus b this factor will remain same now according to standard notation it is denoted by p now when i differentiate with respect to y it is curl z by curl y it will be 2y into x square plus a here first function will remain same x square plus a will remain same and y square derivative 2y b constant as derivative will be zero so we are left only with 2y into x square plus a now curl z by curl y have standard notation q we have the value of p and q now multiply now you should understand that how it may, here you can add you can multiply you can divide you can do anything with this equation that will be accordance with the question so, so if i multiply these two equations p and q because in the question we have multiplication this is the first equation this is the second equation if i multiply both equations it will be p into q 
equal to 2 into 2 means 4 into x y here it will be x square plus a into y square plus b and we know the value of x square plus a and y square plus b the value is z so we are have we have in pq equal to 4 x y z this is the required pd in this partial differential equation here we eliminate the arbitrary arbitrary constant a and b i differentiating with respect to x as well as with respect to y i think now differentiation is clear to you that how we can eliminate the arbitrary constant here i think you can do the second part yourself now the question is should we calculate only first order derivative is there need to calculate second derivative it will be explained in the next example now this is a uh, question another example here the question is form the partial differential equation by eliminating the arbitrary constant a b c from x square upon a square plus y square upon b square plus z square upon c square equals to one now this is the equation given to you obviously a b c are given to you arbitrary constant and z will be function of x and y here it is not written that z is function of x and y i have already explained you whenever there is an equation containing x y z you should understand or automatically taken z is a function of x and y it means in this equation if z is a function of x and y we can have curl z by curl x i can calculate curl z by curl y here how many number of constants are there a b c three constants are there and how many independent variable are there z is a function of x and y means z is the dependent variable x and y are independent variable independent variables are only in two or arbitrary variables are three it means number of independent variables they are less than the number of arbitrary constant so we need to differentiate again here i will you give you one point also that whenever number of constant are equal to or you can say number of arbitrary arbitrary constant that are less than if number of arbitrary constant are greater than or you can say equal to number of independent then it will be equation in p and q form i will explain in this example you it will be clear to you here the order of re resulting equation will be more than one as number of independent variables are only two and constants are three whenever constants are more than independent variable the order of equation will be greater than one now equation is x square upon a square plus y square upon b square is equal to one now i can differentiate with respect to x what will be the derivative here x square means 2x upon a square with respect to y when i differentiate with respect to x it will be zero because for y x will be treated as constant it will be zero here this is constant y will be constant now what is the derivative of z sometimes students write here zero but no you should know you should remember that z is a function of x and y so what will be the derivative here 2z upon c square curl z by curl x equal to zero here i just evaluate this evaluate means i just multiply we will get this equation i number it as one i repeat here derivative with respect to x is 2x upon a square here it will be zero and it will be 2z by c square into curl z by curl x yes if i differentiate with respect to y in the same way it will be 2y here it will be 2y by b square what it will be 2z by c square into curl z by curl y so you should know the formula of differentiation otherwise the question will be wrong now here this is the equation now we have two equations but in both equations c square b square a square terms are till here so i differentiate first equation again with respect to x now what is the derivative here it will be with respect to x it will be c square plus a square here i am differentiate with respect to x product rule will be there z ka derivative curl z by curl x it will remain same then z its derivative curl square z upon curl x square yes here i just write down here and i just solve it 
can i get value of c square of, of a square yes i can calculate the value of c square upon a square here and that value i can substitute in the first equation or you have another option as well you can calculate from here and put in the next equation because i want to remove c square upon a square solving these two equations we will get the required equation i just put value here and we will get the required equation now sometimes students say that why i am differentiating first with respect to x why not i am using second equation students you can use second equation as well you can differentiate with respect to y here and you can get the value of c square upon b square here then you can put in this equation as well it means if you have pd then this is if it is a equation of second order it may not be unique for all the answer may vary here clear then it will be all right that whether you are differentiating with respect to x or you use the second equation you are differentiating with respect to y both answers will be correct next i am taking an example of find the differential equation of all spheres of the same radius c having their center on y z plane here it is a written equation here the equation of sphere everyone know with the center a b c what will be the center here a b c then equation will be x minus a ka whole square plus y minus b whole square plus z minus c ka whole square equal to r square where r is the radius a b c is the center this is the standard equation but in this question we have y z plane means in y z plane x will be zero we have three axes x y z in x axis we have y z 0 y x is x and 0 and z x is x and y 0 in the same we have three planes x y y z z x according to that we take that intercept 0 now here center is on y z on a y z plane so we have have just taken 0 ab and radius is c so what will be the equation here x square plus y minus a whole square plus z minus b whole square equal to c square this is the equation given to you now here radius c is given to you it means it is not an arbitrary constant here a and b will be arbitrary constant which are taken by you now i differentiate with respect to a here Oh, sorry with respect to x here i will differentiate with respect to y then i will get now i have written this equation again so that there should not be any confusion now derivative of x square it will be 2x plus y minus a derivative it will be 0 here derivative will be 2 times z minus b into curl z by curl x that is p here c square will be treated as constant so derivative will be 0 then i again differentiate with respect to y here it will be 2 into y minus a it will be 2 into z minus b into curl z by curl y that is q equals to 0 from this i can get z minus b equal to minus x by p i will put this in equation 3 then i will get an equation or you can say value of y minus a i have value of y minus a i have value of z minus b i just put values here and i will get the required differential equation i repeat this is the equation given to you i can differentiate with respect to x i will differentiate with respect to y and by having the value in terms of a and b i can eliminate the constants here just i put the values of x minus uh, y minus a and z minus b we will get this equation and after solving this equation we will get the required partial differential equation i think now the concept of eliminatory constant uh, how we can eliminate arbitrary constants it is clear to you the important i have given some example to solve these questions you can solve these questions as well z is equal to this z is equal to this and obtain the pd of all spheres whose center lie on z axis i can i think you can solve with the help of previous concepts these are the question you can practice yourself now last topic is topic is formation of pd by elimination of arbitrary functions now how you can eliminate arbitrary functions now z is equal to f x upon y this is a question given to you people here a and b arbitrary constants are not here only arbitrary function is there 
which is the arbitrary function f one arbitrary function is given to you now i can differentiate with respect to x i can differentiate with respect to y when i differentiate with respect to x it will be f dash x upon y into coefficient of x that is 1 upon y but uh, please if you do mistake here while differentiating the question will be wrong so please keep all things in mind while differentiating curl z by curl y it will be f dash x upon y here what is the derivative of y it will be 1 upon y 1 upon y means minus 1 upon y square it will be minus x upon y square here curl z by curl x will be p curl z by curl y equals to q now here you think yourself that whether we divide multiplying or how we can solve so that f dash will eliminate so here i if i divide equation 1 with 2 f dash x upon y will be cancel out and we will we will have a simple equation in the terms of p and q here i just cross multiply i will get p x equal to minus q y this is a required p d e i repeat again here z is equal to f x upon y i simply differentiate with respect to x i differentiate with respect to y just put standard values or you can say standard notation then i divide these two equations here ye minus x upon y square it will be reciprocate because it is a by b by c so here y will be cancel out we have p by q equal to minus y by x just cross multiply we will get the required pd this is another example here the function is f of x square plus y square now i think you can do yourself here what will how you can do firstly i will uh, firstly we differentiate with respect to here a x curl z by curl x it will be f dash x square plus y square into derivative of x it is 2x we will denote it by p then i differentiate with respect to y it will be curl z by curl y it will be f dash x square plus y square into 2y sometimes students write f dash 2y that is wrong please it is a function of x square plus y square function means it may be e raised to power x square plus y square it may be sin of x square plus y square it may be tan of x square plus y square any function so we can't differentiate here only and write f of 2y so it will be f dash of x square plus y square into 2y here also we can divide these two equations if i divide it will be p by q equal to 2x upon 2y we just cross multiply we will get the required pd in both examples i have taken only one arbitrary function that is f so i get only first order derivative equation means partial differential equation it is py equal to qx p and q are of first order now you can try these two questions here also single equation i have written answers as well yes important point generally order of pd is equal to number of arbitrary functions eliminated as i have eliminated only one function in first and second example so the order is one now in the second example i have taken here a third example i have taken two functions here it is f1 and f2 now the question is z is equal to x time f1 x plus t plus f2 x plus 2 x plus t now what is the solution here two arbitrary functions are there i can differentiate with respect to x i can differentiate with respect to y oh, sorry t here curl z by curl x it will be and here product rule will be there x derivative is 1 f1 x plus t here x will remain as is as such f1 dash x plus t plus f2 dash x plus t because coefficient of x is 1 so i just differentiate with respect to x what will be the second derivative here it will be here what will be the second derivative f dash f1 dash x plus t here also product rule will be there f1 dash x plus t x derivative is 1 what will be here derivative x will remain as such f1 derivative is f1 
dash single dash is there here it will be double dash means second derivative f2 dash means f2 double dash i have calculate curl square z upon curl x square because two arbitrary functions are there so i solve for two up to second order derivative now these the, these two terms are same so i write here two times this will remain same i just put it equation number 1 i had calculate with respect to t as well here with respect to t x will be treated as constant it will be f1 dash x plus t i write here it will be f2 dash x plus t i again differentiating with respect to t it will be curl square z upon curl t square here with respect to t it will be f1 double dash t coefficient is 1 so only derivative if it here it is 2t then i should write here 2 as well coefficient of t f2 double dash i just treated as the second equation this is the first equation this is the second equation now how i can eliminate f1 and f1 dash and f2 dash if uh, i'm just uh, working on the next slide now i have calculate curl z by curl t and what will be the second derivative with respect to t now it will be x time f1 double dash f1 double dash here it will be f2 double dash here if i subtract these two equations i will get the two time f1 dash x plus t even second order derivative we have three derivatives with respect to x square with respect to t square and x and t by checking all three equations we can have the we can eliminate f1 dash and f2 dash i just subtract these two equations i get only f1 dash so i need to delete now f1 dash if i calculate with respect to uh, if i calculate differentiating with respect to x as well it is curl square z upon curl x curl t it means in this question you have to evaluate curl square z upon curl x square curl square z upon curl t square curl square z upon curl x curl t and you will be able to find out the required partial differential equation i think this is the mcq for you people here curl square u upon uh, curl x square plus curl square u upon curl y square equal to 0 now you should check what will be the right answer this question can be done in two ways if you integrate two times or you can differentiate two times then i think you can solve you have value of u or in the option given to you you can check which option will be the correct for this question now thank you students i will put you this notes the ppt will be delivered to you by your uh, by ma'am if you have any doubts you can send me in my email id it is given to uh, it is given here that is ritu r w e t u dot malhotra m a l h o t r a at the rate of chitkara c h i t k a r a university u n i v e r s i t y dot e d u dot in if you have any doubts any query you can write me on this mail as well otherwise from tomorrow i will give you 10 minutes in the last session for last 10 minutes that will be for any type of questions queries if you have you can try mcq questions you can have big question i think these concepts will be clear to you today i discuss only three things what do you mean by pte what do you mean by partial differential equations what do you mean by order of pd degree of pd and formation of pd now about pd pd means partial differential equation it contains only partial derivatives so named as pd now in order of the pd we i discuss the what do you mean by order it is the highest order derivative in the degree of pd it is the power of highest order derivative then we can formulate the pd by eliminating arbitrary constants and by eliminating arbitrary functions in arbitrary constant if you have two constants or independent variables are same that is two in number then you will get only first order pd but if number of arbitrary constants are more than number of independent variable you will get second or higher order 
and if you have only one arbitrary function when you eliminate this arbitrary function you will get only first order pde but if you have two functions you will have second order differential equation you can think yourself you can understand these concept if you people have any doubt any query please write me on my mail ritu.balhotra@rateofchitkarauniversity.edu.in the slides will be given to you people you can have the help of you can take help of books as well as the all books are available in on net these days many books are free here you can download download the notes as well you can try these questions please students learn regularly because after the sessions after these classes the, the paper will be maybe it may be online i can't say anything but you should be ready for everything so please do the practice and uh, hopefully i think you understand all these concept we will meet tomorrow at the same time and until that until that you can practice this question thank you students